Okay, y'all, I couldn't resist changing the uh, bunny butt design into, I mean, uh, earrings, free stain lace earrings into a regular embroidery design and putting on it Hoppy Easter. So let me get started. All right, I have cut a piece of fabric, seven and a half by seven and a half. I'm using my four by four hoop with Pelham stitch and tear in the back, in the hooped in the in the hoop, and I've centered. I've printed out my little template, and um, I've centered my template on my fabric, and I'm using the light on my machine to make sure that it is centered. Okay, so I've included a basting stitch. Whoops! Hello. I forgot to delete that and pull in the new one because I had to move that basting stitch. Hang on. Okay, so let me make sure this should be the same no matter what. Hang on a minute. Alright, so I've used the little guide on my machine and it's centered right in my template that I've printed. And <clears throat> now I have the right file. So color stitch number one is a basting stitch. It's an orange. You don't need to change orange because the first actual color uh, stop for this design is his little butt. So it's in brown, and that's what I put in here. I didn't hoop my fabric. I'm just going to um, stitch it. Oops, 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 no, hello. Got to take my template off of here. This is what happens when you try to do something and you're not feeling that very good. Your brain doesn't work. It malfunctions. Hold on. All right, so we are doing a regular fill design, not freestanding lace. I have regular bobbin thread in my bobbin and my colored thread in the top. And Sorry. And I have a kind of a darker beige coloring. This is going to do his little butt, or this is going to do the um, basting stitch. So I just kind of push my fabric over. Done. Okay, so that was color stitch number one. So number two is going to actually start the stitching of the bunny butt. It seems like my voice may be trying to come back. So if you've stitched the bunny butt earrings and pendant, this is the same basic concept except the, the fill design is different. It's not created to be freestanding lace. So don't try to use this one as freestanding lace because it won't hold up. This is a regular embroidery design. And so I will be back when his little butt is finished. Alright, so the body, his little butt has finished stitching. It's time to change colors. This color stitch number three is for white. White for his little tail. And let me change threads. Alright, so I've changed threads. Whoops. Let me get that little tail. Let me get that little thread out of the way. It didn't suck it down. Alright, so I don't know if you can see this picture, but I've done a little fancy feel on his tail to make it look curly. This will take this. Get my bobbin is out, yes. Sorry, and I may run out of bobbin again. 
I've got some bobbins sitting up here that are just partially filled, so I don't know if you can see it on camera, the texture that's on that little tail, but I'll hold it up here a little bit and show you. This is just giving it a little curly look to the tail. I'll be back. So I'm just about finished with the tail. I'm just doing a small zigzag around the tail. This is going to stretch the inside part of his feet, this part right here, right here. Uh, I, I have that as a color stop, so you can make it whatever color you want here. I did it in a lighter tan, but I think I'm going to stitch it in white now instead of the tan. Well, well maybe I need to stitch it in the tan. A lighter tan. Uh, hmm, hang on. All right, so I'm going to use this really light tan to stitch the bottom of his feet, and I've put a color stop in it so that you can do whatever you choose to do. I do like to give you all those those choices. If I had put it in the same color, and you happen to step away from your machine, it would have just stitched this color so that's why I separated it out okay so we'll do the inside pad of his feet in a lighter tan going down to his three little toes on each foot. There's a traveling stitch that gets you there. So you don't have all those little tails to trim on the back. Just for your information, I'm going over to my um, software, and I'm going to move this color right up underneath the butt before his tail. So if you decide you want to just continue with that same color, you can, but, but I'm going to go over and change it right now. All right, I've already made those changes while that was stitching, and uh, I forgot to put the cover on that, so now I'm going to put in... Um, a bright pink for his little pads. Give this little baby some color. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Hello. This is not tree standing lace. I do not need that there. I get so in the rut of tree standing lace. Okay, so I'll we'll just put this back on and we'll change the thread at the top. Alright, so I've changed my top thread to a bright pink to do with his pads. And give 
this little bunny some color. So this is color stuff number This is a little different than I've done in the past. I've left the uh, satin stitching from the earrings on it, and uh, I kind of like it. If, if you're going to put it on a towel, oh dear, that thread came out. All right, so the bunny's finished, and I'm just going to stitch the tips. Oh, I don't need to change bobbin thread. stitch. Hang on. This basting stitch should come out easy if you break the stitches about every fifth one. Fifth or sixth, something like that. stitches.
depressing. Got a pressing man. I just like to keep this covered because I spray with spray starch. And I misted this design. it with my little button on the thing I don't want it going all the time and then you work your way out so you always want to make sure you give yourself plenty of extra thread I mean extra material so you can square it up it lightly towards the outside from the middle to the outside when you have text this close sometimes it's hard to get it all straightened out but this looks like it's pressing out really well so I'm just gently gently moving the iron Pressed down. 